The tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, is one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. It is located in Lintong District, Xi'an, Shaanxi Province of China. It was constructed over 38 years, from 246 to 208 BCE, and is situated underneath a 76-meter-tall tomb mount shaped like a truncated pyramid. The layout of the mausoleum is modeled on the layout of Sanyang, the capital of the Qin Dynasty, which was divided into inner and outer cities. The necropolis complex of Qin Shi Huang is a microcosm of the emperor's empire and palace, with the tomb mound at the center. There are two walls, the inner and outer walls, surrounding the tomb mound, and a number of pits containing figures and artifacts were found inside and outside the walls. To the west, inside the inner wall were found bronze chariots and horses. Inside the inner wall were also found terracotta figures of courtiers and bureaucrats who served the emperor. The most famous discovery of the tomb of Qin Shi Huang was the Terracotta Army, a vast army of life-sized terracotta soldiers that was buried with the emperor to protect him in the afterlife. The Terracotta Army was discovered in 1974 by a group of farmers who were digging a well. Since then, archaeologists have excavated over 8,000 terracotta soldiers, as well as chariots, horses, and weapons. The tomb of Qin Shi Huang is still under excavation, and archaeologists believe that there is much more to be discovered. The tomb is a treasure trove of information about the Qin dynasty, and it is one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. Archaeologists have not yet dismantled the tomb of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, for a number of reasons. The tomb is believed to be booby-trapped. When Qin Shi Huang died in 210 BC, his tomb was said to have been filled with booby traps and poisons to protect his body from grave robbers. Archaeologists are concerned that if they dismantle the tomb, they could accidentally set off one of these traps and damage the artifacts inside. The tomb is still largely unexplored. Archaeologists have only excavated a small portion of the tomb and they believe that there is much more to be discovered. They are hesitant to dismantle the tomb until they have a better understanding of what lies inside. The tomb is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The tomb of Qin Shi Huang is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which means that it is protected by international law. Archaeologists are required to follow strict guidelines when excavating a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and they are not allowed to do anything that could damage the site. As a result of these concerns, archaeologists have decided to leave the tomb of Qin Shi Huang undisturbed for the time being. They continue to study the tomb using non-invasive methods such as ground-penetrating radar, and they hope to one day be able to safely dismantle the tomb and explore its contents. In addition to the reasons mentioned above, there are also some ethical concerns about dismantling the tomb of Qin Shi Huang. Some people believe that the tomb should be left undisturbed as a way of respecting the wishes of Qin Shi Huang and his culture. Others believe that the tomb is a valuable historical resource that should be studied and preserved for future generations. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to dismantle the tomb of Qin Shi Huang is a complex one that will need to be made by archaeologists, historians, and policymakers. The tomb of Qin Shi Huang is a fascinating and mysterious place. It is a reminder of the power and wealth of the Qin dynasty, and it is a testament to the ingenuity of the ancient Chinese people.